Jairus experiences a moment in the suspicion call. The text, it gives us, my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. it gives us, first of all, a pitiful dialogue. Mm -hmm. Look at your neighbor and say, it's a pitiful dialogue. Y'all in here, right? All right. All right. I want to make sure I ain't here by myself. All right. and well, well, in verses 22 through 23, in this pitiful dialogue, we see, first of all, the accomplishments of Jairus. Oh, yeah, we're told that this man, yes, is a ruler of the synagogue. Yes, sir. In other words, he is a man of prominence. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. he is a man of position. Yes, sir. He is a man of prestige. Yes, sir. He is a man of privilege. Mm -hmm. He's a man of prosperity and he is a man of power. All right. Yeah, All right. yeah. When Jairus spoke, the people listened. All right. Yeah, when he walked into a room, everyone stood up in recognition. All right. Yeah, he was a man who would no doubt we would say today he had it going on. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show you something. But at this moment in time, none of these things that he had really mattered. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a pitiful dialogue because here is a man who is very religious. Uh -huh. Yeah, here is a man who no doubt is a member of the Sanhedrin Council. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, he was very religious, but his religion is powerless to help him in his situation. You've often heard me say, listen, I would rather have a relationship mm -hmm. than to depend on a religion. Right. Now, I don't know about you, but I, 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 I would rather have a testimony than to be saying a whole lot of things and not saying nothing. Am I here by myself? Yeah, religion don't save anyone. You got to have the right relationship with the Lord Jesus, the Christ. Hear me when I tell you that sickness and death, it cares less about your status in society. Yeah, as a matter of fact, matter of fact, you know, when you study, those of us who have studied sociology, there is a thing that we study which is called the ladder of social stratification. Yeah, there is, we have what is called, yes, the upper, upper class. We have the middle, upper class. We have the lower, upper class. Then you have, yes, the upper, middle class. The middle, middle class. And then the lower, middle class. Then you have the upper, lower class. The middle, lower class. And then the lower, lower class. Hear me when I tell you, my brothers and sisters, I don't care if you're in the upper, upper, or the lower, lower. You are not exempt from Trump. She has some help up in here. It's sickness and death and disease does not care who you are. I tell you all the time, yeah, these things are nothing but, yes, equalizers. They put us all on equal terms. Yeah, I remember when Katrina hit down in Louisiana. Yeah, that was some rich folk. They might have had money, but they were just like me. They could not get to their riches. And ATM was out of order and all that. Everybody was in line to get gas. Hear me when I tell you, these things does not care who you are. Well, if, well listen, yes, listen. If, if these things don't care who you are, what about good God Almighty, your soul and being right with the master? The old folk would say, listen, if salvation was a thing you could buy, <laughs> the rich would live and the poor would die. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad it's not dependent upon my status in society. Yeah, no doubt Jairus would have traded everything for power to change his situation. Yes, sir. Sickness and death had came to his house and noticed what it had done, my brothers and sisters. It had attacked his real treasure. All right. All right. Tell somebody his real treasure. And y'all know what his real treasure was. It was his little daughter. As a matter of fact, Luke said it was his only daughter. Well, I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I, I, I don't know how you feel or what you believe. I, but I believe a real parent uh, will jump over about ten rattlesnakes to get to their children and save them. Notice what I said now. I said a real parent. 
Yeah, I don't care how bad they are, I don't care how big of a knucklehead they may be, they are still our children. And we'll do everything we can to get there and try to save our children. But not only now, not only in this pitiful dialogue now do we see the accomplishments of Jairus, but in this pitiful dialogue, we see the attitude of Jairus. Somewhere down the road, my brothers and sisters, I believe Jairus heard about Jesus. Yeah, as a matter of fact, when you study, you do a word study on his name, Jairus, it means he whom God enlightens. As a matter of fact, this name, this name, uh, it shows up periodically in the Old Testament in the form of Jair, J-A-I-R. Matter of fact, in Numbers chapter 32, verse 41, in Joshua chapter 13, verse 30, you will discover that Yah was the son of Manasseh who was involved in conquering and settling a little area called Bashan. When you read Judges chapter 10 and verse 3, you will notice that there was a judge named Jeremiah that ruled Israel for 20 years. And then in Esther chapter 2 verse 5, Mordecai, who was the cousin of Esther, was a descendant of a man called Jeremiah. Somewhere, my brothers and sisters, God had opened the eyes of this Jewish official. And he saw that Jesus was his only hope. That's right. I wish I had some help up in here. Right. Now, I want, I want let, me, let me drop something in your spirit real quickly. When the Bible speaks about hope, it's, it's not talking uh, about a something that we wish for. No, no, no. You know, you know, I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine going to Sears and uh, buying whatever you want to buy, whether it's appliances, TV, clothes, or whatever the case may be. And, and most of appliances because, you know, if something goes wrong with you, are able to bring it back. Yes, are y'all with me? Right. And let's say, for instance, the salesman, he shakes your hand and he says, well, if anything goes wrong with this appliance, you can bring it back. Well, you have to sit around, wish, and hope that if something go wrong with it, that he, yeah, he will uphold to the handshake that you all shook on. But now there's a difference now when you go and you buy that same appliance. And they say, listen, you got 90 days, or it's warranted for however many days. All you got to do is just bring this piece of paper back. They may want to tell you that so much better feeling. Why? Because you have something tangible in your hand. Well, when the Bible talks about hope, my brothers and sisters, it's just like having that piece of paper in your hand. It is a guarantee. It is a warranty knowing that the Lord will stand by his promises. Am I right about it? Yeah, that's why we sing the song. Listen, I'm standing on the promises of Christ Jesus, my Lord. How many of you know that God, he won't fail you? Right. Do, 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 do I have anybody that had ever tried him? Anybody that had ever called on him? You didn't know how you was going to make it, but you called upon the name of the Lord. Somebody said, listen, listen, I, listen, I, I've been calling on him. I'm still calling on him. I'm going to call on him in the future. Why? Because he never, <laughs> he never let me down. Why? Because I, I read somewhere in the word where he said, listen, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. But I will be with you to the ends of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I believe somewhere he believed and he heard about Jesus. Well, now when, you, when you're in a pitiful situation, my brothers and sisters, you, you need to be enlightened on who Jesus really is. Well, and I often tell you all the time, listen, you can't go off of what mama tell you about him. You should not go off of what grandma told you about him. You need to know who the Lord is for your own self. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a personal thing. Yeah, that's why I want to write and say, listen, listen, we all have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Listen, in other words, old folk would say, every tub got to stand on his own body. Yeah, so you need to have your own personal experience, your own testimony of what the Lord can really do in the time of trouble. Uh -huh. Notice now, notice in this text, notice how Jairus came 
before Jesus.